everyone, it's Michelle and I have a very fun summer look for you. So if you're on vacation this summer and you just want a simple, quick, but colorful look, this is the look for you. So you can see it has the uh, blues and purples and a little pink in it and it's very wearable. And it's also very fun and colorful. So I really wanted to film this. I was wearing it like a couple weeks ago and I just really fell in love with this look because it's so not normally my style, but I've been trying to branch out and get a lot more color going on, and as you can see, I've got a lot more color going on, and it's been super fun. So I just wanted to share this look with you. Of course, it's using the Ammo palette, and the colors that I'm using are Shattered, Last Call, Grifter, Sin, and Polyester Bride. So I know that sounds like a lot of colors, but it's all just a lot of, like, fine-tuning your colors and just, like, getting a little bit in there. Uh, Polyester Bride, I hardly used any of it. I just used it mixed with a couple of colors and you'll see that pretty soon. So of course you're going to want to prime. So prime your lids with your Urban Decay Primer Potion because that's important to make sure your foundation, foundation, your eyeshadow stays in place all day long. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you on this side right here. So hopefully I'm going to try and do this a little differently this time. My other mirror is being a pain, so I just am going to try using the mirror that comes in the palette. And this time I'm going to put it right down here as well. I'm going to take your e.l.f. brush, and this is of course the, the little rounded fluffy brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to just Barely put a little bit of color right there in your highlight because you want to make sure that it stays um, pretty light there. So I just took a little bit of Sin and just going to put that right here and just the tiniest little bit because you are going to go over it again. So now I'm going to take that same brush, just dust it off a little bit, go into Shattered, so that's this beautiful blue color right here, just pack that on there, and then that's going to go in the outer corner of your eye and into your crease. So you just pack that color right in there, and then just bring it on up. Right there at the outer corner of your eye. And then just sweep it into your crease right there. And you're going to go over and intensify your colors again anyway, so don't worry. If it's not standing out, you can always put a little bit more in there and just make it more intensified. All right, so you're gonna sweep off your brush. I'm pretty much just using this brush throughout the whole thing. I do have um, a flat brush, the one that comes in the palette that I'll be using a little later. So now the next color you're gonna take is you're gonna take a little bit of Grifter. So that's this, let me see if I can show you. It's this color right here. And take a little bit of grifter and you're gonna put it right above shattered, right across your brow across your brow bone. If I could ever get my words out correctly today, that would be wonderful. And you're gonna sweep it in toward the inner corner of your eye, and just so that it connects right there. Alright, so just with that kind of a windshield wiper motion, right in here. And this is a really beautiful uh, mauve type color as you can see. Now I'm going to take uh, a little bit of Sin and mix with a little bit of Polyester Bride and just go over my highlight again. So right there. And I'm just using that combination because Sin is just slightly too dark and Polyester Bride is just slightly too pale. So I mix the two colors and make a nice little blend. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is take a little bit of Last Call and that's this deeper mauve purplish color here. And what you're going to do with that is you're just going to put that right in the center of your lid. And you're just going to pat that color in there. And you're not really going to wiggle your brush around a whole lot. You're just going to tap the color onto that spot because you don't really want that color going anywhere. And that's of course right next to Shattered. Alright, so then you're going to dust off your brush, and you're going to go into Polyester Bride, and you're going to finish off your lid. So right at the inner corner of the eye, take Polyester Bride right to that spot right there, right 
here. All right. And then what else you're gonna do? Like I said, I didn't use a whole lot of polyester bride because I'm gonna take a little bit of shattered. And I'm just going to go over polyester bride and connect it to the rest of the crease. So that's just gonna soften up uh, shattered and keep it nice and light right here in the inner corner of your eye. All right, so now that you have all of that, you can see all the beautiful colors that are going on right on your face. So what you're gonna wanna do also is take a little bit of sin and go along the inner corner right here. So just the tiniest amount of sin. And then right there, the inner corner. Just to make sure that this stays light because this is a very summer look. Then you take a little bit of chopper and go along the outer corner and connect the two. So if I can get my angle correct. Just go like that, right down there. And then you're just gonna intensify your colors just a little bit because you want them to really stand out like shattered is supposed to really stand out. So you just pat that right there, go back over it a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my little flat brush here, oops. Sorry about that noise. And I'm going to take that right into last call, right there, and I'm just going to pat that right in the center of my eye, just to really make this color pop. Since it's such a small amount of that color, you really want it to pop. All right, and I'm just going to brighten the inner corner just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Because when you're working with this many colors, you just kind of have to intensify as you go and make sure that everything is blending nicely. All right, so what you're gonna do also is you're gonna take your angled fluffy brush here and just sweep over everything very minimally. You don't want to mix the colors or lose your intensity, but you do want to make sure that you're not having like some crazy harsh lines. So I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna, there's nothing on this brush whatsoever. I'm just gonna sweep it underneath here just to blend out the two little neutral colors that I have on down here. And then just take it up here, blend that out. You don't really want to go over your lid because you just built up that color, so just Blend out any harshness over here and right over here. And then just quickly, once over. That's all you need. All right, and to really set and complete your look, you're going to want to take your Tiger's Eye, of course, from Rimmel, that I featured in my last video. I've really been loving this color for summer because it's not like stark, stark, dark black, you know? So you're just going to take that in your waterline. Hopefully I can do this without my other mirror. So right there in your waterline. And you can even take it a little bit underneath your waterline. So hopefully I can show you that. So just right there. And not a whole lot of the way underneath because you don't want this to be overly the focus is not on the eyeliner, it's on the actual eyeshadow. So now you're gonna take you're gonna keep this open because you're gonna use it later. So you're gonna take your black eyeliner and just do the top waterline. So it fills in all those little gaps by your eyelashes and gives you that nice almost false eyelash look when you have your mascara on. And you know, any black liner will do as long as it um, stays. Alright, so now you have that. And take your Tiger's Eye pencil again. And then just barely make the smallest kind of line that you can. And you don't even have to set this, which is very nice. Um, it is a very creamy one, but you want that softer line. You don't really want to set this. So just, I like to start from the middle, 
and work my way out because that way I can really see what I'm doing and you're not going to wing this liner at all you're just going to bring it to the outer corner of your eye and now just build on that So now that you have your liner on you're going to curl your lashes and I'm going to curl my lashes um, a different way than I have been so I will show you that and it's just to give an extra curl to your lashes and so what you're going to want to do is do your usual and do not clip your eyelid so do that and then release but let it your lashes kind of come out a little bit so that you can hit them and toward the middle so now that I've lost them here gotta bring them back there we go and curl them again and then do the same thing at the tips so this gives a nice full curve to your lashes instead of just the one curl to your lashes this one gives you dramatic curl all the way through your lashes and I thought that was really great for you know a summertime look because the emphasis is more on the mess uh, the eyeshadow sorry I keep saying the wrong thing here so the emphasis is on the eyeshadow but your eyelashes also add to the effect and that's why this is a great thing to do for your lashes because then people are like wow it just makes your makeup look that much more stunning. Alright, so take your mascara, my favorite of course, since I haven't gotten to the NYX one yet. I know I wanted to bust into it today and be like, oh, I gotta show them how to do that, but I have to wait. So I'll show you that as soon as I possibly can. So don't forget your bottom lashes here. And you just do that. And you can also separate the top just a little bit just to make sure that your mascara goes on evenly alright so that's for the bottom now for the top and I always pretty much do about two coats of mascara And what I also like to do when I'm putting on my mascara is to really focus on the outer corner because it just really intensifies the look. So you'll see me, I use the tip of the wand to get that effect. Just to really kind of pack in the mascara right there at the outer corner and wing out those lashes. Alright, so I am back with my mascara on the rest of the way and you can see this completed look right here and you want to do a neutral mouth because you have a lot of color on your eyelids and so you don't want to take away from that and have like a bright red mouth or anything so I did a neutral pink look like I have been recently so of course I used the NYX liner, the Rimmel lipstick and the CO Bigelow lip gloss. So anyway, this is your completed vacation makeup or your summertime fun look. And I hope you enjoyed it and I will be um, making more tutorials with this palette because it's just so much fun. And I hope that you wear this look this summer because it's a great look to wear. And it's just, it's so fun. It's just really fun, bright and colorful and it's just... A great makeup look for this summer so uh, let me know what you think and you can always comment rate subscribe for more tutorials I hope that you do because I really really enjoy making these videos for all of you so please leave your comments below let me see or tell me if you want me to make any more uh, looks or if you you know really just get sick of the ammo palette ah, try something else you know please let me know I hope so that you have a beautiful and wonderful day and I will see you in the next video make sure to continue with my um, blog posting shadow Miss 90 at blogspot.com to see what's coming next. All right, bye! I will see you in the next video. I hope to have a. Oh my gosh, if I could just get my words out today. All right, let's try that again.